Good afternoon, JCPS. Hope you had a good week. Uh, happy Friday. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon. I hope you uh, everybody gets out of work and school and gets to enjoy the beautiful weather. Also have a great uh, Thunder weekend. So really hopeful that uh, our JCPS students and families are able to enjoy uh, the um, Thunder festivities this weekend safely, um, but really take part in those activities, get some rest and be ready for next week. Uh, it's been a busy week here at JCPS, as everybody knows. Um, and uh, we really had the opportunity this week to move what I have uh, talked about last week, our transition readiness continuum. It's a major focus for us um, in the district, and it's going to be an, an innovative approach to the way that we ensure every student is transition ready at every level, uh, from kindergarten ready to middle school ready to high school ready, and then finally college ready and career ready so that when a student walks across the stage for graduation in JCPS, they are prepared for the world that awaits them with the skills they need to be successful. And it really centers around our backpack of skills. So we've talked around a lot about our backpack of skills. We've been working on a model where we can ensure that students have the academic skills that are necessary, plus those success skills that are uh, so important in our world around um, ideas such as collaboration and creativity and persistence um, and many others, those, those skills that we all want our own children to have. So we're very excited about the development of that backpack that every student will be uh, working on and contributing to that online backpack, that digital portfolio that every student will have next year um, in our district. Um, and we've really developed that. This week, uh, we had a community conversation where we invited community and business partners uh, to join us at Fraser Museum um, and had over 100 participants come and give us feedback on our backpack model and the excitement and enthusiasm around this model across this community um, is very inspirational to me. So I'm um, very proud of the work that's taken place and can't wait to see it implemented in all of our schools across JCPS with every single student. No matter what school, classroom, or teacher they have, every single uh, student is gonna be impacted by our backpack of success skills. Um, also had a great opportunity th this week to take part in the Real Men Read initiative. Uh, went to Lockhoff Elementary and uh, was fortunate to read to the third graders um, at Lockhoff. Um, I'm new at the uh, read to elementary students, uh, elementary school students thing, uh, but it's exciting for me. I love it. I love the energy and excitement in the room. Uh, read a story to the third graders about basketball player Chris Paul, um, and uh, they seem to be very uh, into the story. So taught some life lessons and got to have some great conversations with third graders love the energy at that school. So thank you for inviting me to take part in that. Also this week, um, we announced and, and put online our reorganization um, uh, recommendations for next week's board meeting. This is the most significant reorganization that central office has taken on in decades. Um, but we are working very hard and doing the difficult work uh, through difficult times to make sure um, that we have a central office that is efficient um, and supports schools and student success. And that, what, that is what our job here is at central office, is to make sure we support student success and specifically schools to make sure that you all can do the work that is necessary. We'll continue to do that and make tough decisions um, to make sure that we are the most efficient um, and effective central off office possible in supporting our schools. Also want to remind all of our middle school and high school students, we are moving into that final grading period um, of the year. So the sixth grading period of the year as we move close to the end of the year. Um, as you wrap up this fifth six weeks and move into our last six weeks, good luck to all of our students. Now's the time to make sure we really work hard and buckle down for that uh, end of school drive. Finally, um, I wanted to uh, show uh, or talk a little bit about thanks uh, to the great JCPS family we have here. A couple of nights ago, um, you know, as many of us are, um, I was a little unsettled about um, the news um, that had come out of Frankfurt recently and really about um, the future of JCPS. Um, myself, along with many people in central office and all of our school-based employees have worked very hard this year to improve our district and make it a better district, and I thank you. But through those difficult times, it, I sat down here at my desk and decided to um, send out a message to all of our stakeholders in our schools, our employees, 
about how important it is to make sure that we really show up and do the work. And I used John Gordon's uh, quotes from the power of positive leadership, um, but just making sure that we keep our students first, um, that we're still, that we're every single day we're gonna show up and do what's best for our students. And that's what we do as educators, um, but make sure we do that. And I just wanted to send that message out to, to all of our schools and employees. And really just to tell you through difficult times, how proud I am uh, to be the superintendent um, of JCPS and really to represent all of our teachers, employees, and students. Very proud to be your superintendent. Um, and wanted to let you know how thankful I was um, for all the emails and messages that I got back from teachers and employees. I got hundreds and hundreds of emails um, talking about how proud they are to be a part of JCPS um, and also to do this difficult work that we are doing right now to improve the district. It inspired me, re-energized me, and I just want to thank you all for the kind words uh, to keep me going through uh, this process, and, and we help each other. So we have a great team. I know we have great things in store for JCPS, and I just want to thank you for that. Hope you once again have a great Thunder weekend. Come back next week ready to go to have another great week. Thank you.